our purpose. According to the authorities, we are criminals. We're not felony, we are fighting for our freedom. Well, I'm not a whole Native American tribe, I'm only there what they call skinwalkers. Evil witches that can transform and take the shape of any human or animal. Being the beast have infiltrated our community here in Walk Creek County. I understand you have a reason to believe me, but please listen. I have been in your lab I have seen the horror lurking beneath our very feet, the hosting rooms, the halls of flesh, the sickening rooms in every cavern. You can find this yourselves, deep in Sandra's mind. You must listen to me. You must not let any more disappear without a place while you sit idly by and say nothing. What do you do with my family? Tonight, they will call you. This is their harvest. You will realize I'm telling the truth when they throw you up open and convert you. But if you listen to me, you can give it. You cannot know why I'm under this mask. For good reason. These creatures want me gone. They want to turn us against us. I don't see anything. My name is Louise Peterson. I will not be silenced. My name will move on in this town.
torture me, kill me, turn me into a sick abomination like you. There are many fates that are considered real. Torture sounds fun for a time. What do I do after that? Kill you? That seems too easy. Turn into normal host? That seems dumb. I've spent plenty of time thinking about it. I prepared for this moment for years. You don't scare me. You can't do anything. Oh, but I can. There are fates worse than those you've imagined. So many secrets you still don't know. The star sees all. It has told me the answer. You're insane. Oh, David. You don't know the truth. My name is Daniel Shepard. One year ago, my father was murdered in my hometown of Walker Creek by shapeshifting creatures within the Tourism Bureau. They call themselves the Hosted, or Skinwalkers. The day he died, he left me a package of VHS tapes, told me they were proof behind what was happening in Walker Creek. And for a year I've been investigating, trying to find the secrets behind these tapes, and my town, and and the secrets behind him. Now, I've received this. I got way too close. Struck a nerve, so to speak. Their mysterious leader, the tour guide, they invited me back. Well, more so threatened to kill me if I didn't return, but either way, they offer some answers. So, as crazy as it sounds, I'm going back. And I know it's 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 dangerous and and risky and insane. But I need to know what happened to my dad. I need to know why he was murdered. I need to know the secrets behind my hometown. And who knows? If I record it all. I can broadcast to the entire world and reveal the truth. I won't lie. The odds are definitely not in my favor. There's only a few people that I know I can trust. Like my best friend, Matt Seekins. God, I haven't seen him since like high school, but I'm actually staying with him when I do go to Walker Creek. He helped me figure out that the entrance to the hosted base, well, the home, was at Lake Denton. We were going to break in to get information on my dad, but... Now with the tour guide thing, that plan is up in the air. Then there's Adam, a former subordinate of the tour guide, who somehow kept his humanity after being hosted. But he's a leader of the Walker Creek Rebellion alongside Dr. Andrea Illman, who's a scientist who 
also rebelled against the hosted. She ended up finding out what was going on truly with their so-called god, the Harvest Star. We're outnumbered by the enemies. Half the people in the town are already hosted. Now there's another thing too. The tour guide seems to hate my father and me for a reason that me nor Andrea even know. <sighs> they also seem to be communicating with somebody that claims they can speak to their god. He's called the speaker. <sighs> and there's another incredibly dangerous person who I think is either retired or dead, but they call him the benefactor. And then they have the enforcer. The only one I know the identity of, thanks to my father's tapes. Luke Delore, the blind host. A teenager turned to a killing machine in 1989. He's terrifying. I know it sounds bad, but I still have faith. The truth is out there somewhere, and as long as it's there, I know that I can find it. So, it's time for me to pay a visit to Walker Creek. It's time that I head home. Misery fell on the town when they lost all their looks. Spent all those years with their jobs and their scholarly books. With no one to share all their thoughts and their worldly to be. Oh no. They got down and prayed a little more for a life that was free. Wanting a change, they assessed how reform comes around. A wise man suggested they work in their smiles, not their frowns. And all of a sudden it sounds like the town was to be. Oh yes, a happier place where they live out their personal dreams. Faith in above Can you feel the force that it brings Not to worry about things Just the stars in the sky All enjoying their time with the hope For peace Hey, uh, I'm actually parked right now. I'm still a few miles out, but if I drive through the night, I should definitely be there by tomorrow. What are you up to? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be there by uh, 11 or 12 tomorrow morning. This will be fine. Also, Adam said he wanted to talk about something. Can you just tell me tomorrow? Look, this thing with Adam, it's going to be alright, alright? I'm just glad I'll be with you. Sounds good. Why, oh, why this town without love? Too much faith in above. Can you feel the force that it brings? Not to worry about things, just the stars in the sky. All enjoying their time. All the people that kiss, all the children that wish, all the fresh living flowers that spend all their hours outside in the rain. Just so happy. It's so good to see you. Hi, good to see you too. Here, man. It's called it. It's been forever. It has. It's been good. Oh, it sucks. So. Here I am, back in this living room, back in Walker Creek, and back with Matt. Just wish the circumstances were better, but, you know, sometimes you don't get to go down memory lane or just hang out. Sometimes you gotta fight an alien invasion. 
well, I mean, it's the most badass thing friends can do. And, well, you wouldn't be here any other way, so I don't want to complain. Well, yeah, I guess. But, hey, look, Matt and Daniel, back together again, uncovering secrets, fighting aliens, taking on the host. And, honestly, Matt, being back here, I don't think there's any place I'd rather be. Wow. I never thought I'd say that. I'm glad you did. Me too. So it looks like we have some time to kill. As I said before, me and Matt are going to be meeting Adam at Waterfield Park. He's in hiding, but he insisted that he meet with us. And obviously we're not going to fall into the tour guide's trap because that would be insane. I just... I don't know if we can trust him or not. All we have to go off of is his video, but it was pretty convincing. Don't tell me you're worried about him. I'm not. Well, maybe a little. I know that he knows more than he says. I also know he's been keeping things from us. But he's on the run right now. And if he gets caught, then we're completely screwed. Listen, Adam is not our friend. Okay? And every interaction I've had with the guy has been... <sighs> threatening, to say the least. Look, Matt, I get that. But do you not see how far in this we are now? I mean, I started out with VHS tapes and a mystery about my dad. But now we're in the midst of a complete alien war. Listen, it's nothing we can't handle, okay? We'll go without Adam. Plus, we gotta worry about our own shit right now. I'm more worried about you. Because you've gotten way more cocky since this whole thing started. Gotta go somehow. Look. <sighs> you know... You don't have to do any of this. You know, you don't have to go to the meeting or do anything else. I know, Daniel. You just... I just want you to be okay. Look, I'll be fine, right? Like always. If you were fine, you wouldn't be here. I... Look, I'm okay, alright? I just, I need to get through this meeting. I know you, man. I know who you are. That's why I'm here. I'm with you till the end. Same, man. I mean, I love you, Matt. I love you too. I gotta get some shit done. Just make yourself at home. Hey, you just blew past the road to Waterfield Park. I told you I should have been the one driving. We're not heading to Waterfield Park, not yet. Where are we going then? I have a few errands to run. Look, will you stop worrying? We have a hell of time before we have to actually go to the park. Just, we'll be there soon. Two things. One, I need to go to Carter Company and get the rest of my dad's stuff. It's been there since he died. You didn't do this before because? Because I wasn't in Walker Creek and only blood relatives can come and get their stuff. Oh, yeah. Fair point. Second thing, I need to get some Julie's in me because it has been literally forever since I actually had Julie's. Speaking of which, we are actually here, so could you put the camera away? Hey, Julie! Well, this is it. Time to get my dad's stuff. All right. What's in it? Well, a lot of memories. And this is actually kind of interesting. Flash drive. Hmm. You want to go home and open it? No, no. Let's wait until after the meeting. 
And if you don't mind, I'd want to open this on my own. Oh. Yeah, of course. Thanks, man. No problem. All right. <laughs> Exactly inconspicuous with these cameras out here either. Don't worry, you're explaining. You're correct, and Daniel's right. You're making this much riskier with all the cameras. I like the new look, Adam. But don't forget, these cameras were a part of the plan that you told me about. True. Let's get straight to it. I want to talk about our plan. What plan, Adam? There's always a plan, and another plan, plans and side plans. What's actually going on? I'm going to tell you. Why do you think I called you two idiots here? You just call us idiots? You're such a dick. Look, I'm here for a fresh start. You know my goals, you know what I want, and you know what you're going to do for me. All you care about is yourself, Adam. You don't care who wins or loses as long as you benefit. That's not true, Daniel. I'm still human. Mostly. Look, I want this to end when Andrea wins. I want this to end when you win. I want this to end when the host and the harvest start lose. In case you forgot, Adam, I'm not a part of the rebellion. Neither am I. You're both naive. Do you think the tour guide will see it that way? Do you think the enforcer cares about that little technicality? Do you think the harvest star will spare you for it? God, pull your heads out of your asses. You are so far beyond simply finding the answers to your daddy issues. You're rebelling against the hosted. You've aided rebels. You're meeting with me. Now, if you actually listen, you'll be on the winning side. Oh, is it really that simple? It's that simple. Fine. Then just tell us the simple truth. Is your plan even possible with the tour guides screwing everything up? Oh, it's still very possible, Daniel. Look, I already know your plan for the festival. You're meeting with the tour guide. I already know where it is. And I know what you'll actually be doing during it. Look, since we already discussed it, we know basically what to expect. Not everything, because I can't tell you everything, but... Look, here's my advice for the 23rd. No matter what happens, don't panic. Stick to your plan. Well, actually, it's my plan. Well, actually, it's my plan. So your whole plan was just our original plan? Yeah. Meeting with the tour guide. Exactly. There's no other choice. I would get the rebellion to help, but we're not in the best position. You'll be completely on your own in your... Meeting. That isn't scary. Oh, still makes me nervous, though. How about this, Adam? What if we make our own plan? What if we don't follow yours? You won't. Really? And what if we do? What if we do make our own plan? You know, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you not being trustworthy and you not telling me shit. I'm tired of being your pawn. You won't, Matt Seekins. And I'll tell you why. You're incapable of beating me. You're too scared to go off of my path. You want to call this game fine. Nobody plays it better than me. This has been my life's work. This is my only way out. And it will all be sabotaged by two teenagers being incapable of following the rules. I have broken every rule I have to protect you. I have ensured that every event has come to pass. And now, it is down to you. Either you keep playing, or you die. And that's not a threat. That's just the truth of the situation you've gotten yourselves into. We're done here. You know, if we weren't dealing with an apocalyptic, potentially world-ending scenario, we'd be friends. We're both arrogant, self-absorbed, obsessive. We're not... I'm not like that at all. And maybe if you got your head out of your ass, you could see that too. And Adam, I'm not selfish. I got you just as you need. I know you like that. Listen to the message your father left. My father? On the flash drive. Listen to it. What do you mean? God, he 
so intense. No, he... He does what he has to do. I... I think I understand him now. What? I mean, him. I... I get it. No. Matt, I know what you're gonna say. It's, it's not about that, alright? Let's... Let's just get out of here, alright? I have a message to listen to. Daniel. I don't know when you'll hear this, but... I want to say I'm sorry. Words can't fix what I've done, but I am sorry. I should have been around more. I should have been more positive, more caring, more loving, more of everything. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing it for you. The lying, the the double-crossing. You're going to find out a lot about me soon. If you care enough to look. If you do, I hope you can understand. Maybe even finish what I started. Maybe treat me a little less harshly, but I don't expect much. What I'm about to do, I doubt I'll survive. Adam told me it isn't worth it, but my life's work has taken everything from me, including my son. It has to mean something. I have to take a stand. Even if it means I'll be gone. Stay close to Matt. He was there for you when I wasn't. Don't let him go. Even now that you've left, have someone who cares about you. Someone you can trust. Don't make the same mistake as me. You have to choose on your own now. I believe in you. I love you, Daniel. Matt! Matt! I'm sorry, Daniel. How'd you sleep? I didn't. Come on, you have to sleep before going to the home this Saturday. Well, I haven't slept since this investigation started, so why start now? Uh, Exactly my point. Whatever, come on, let's just go to Julie's. Julie's? To the tour guide, for bringing us back together. And to Adam, for being Adam. Cheers. Hey, you know what, Matt? What if we invite Peter and Josh over? Or, actually, what if we just invite all of our old friends from high school? Okay, you are getting way too relaxed now, okay? You do not want to see those assholes. Yeah, you're right. Well, want to go to Julie's? I mean, it's basically the same plan you had before, just now with the both of us. Yeah, and it's not like we would actually go to that meeting with a tour guide. True. I think Adam's scheme's going to work. He's been in this game longer than the both of us, right? So, also, they've picked up on every single piece of bait we left from them so far. Even that conversation we had with Adam in the park. Do you even know Adam's plan? I... No. Great. Look, I know it's risky, but Adam's been doing almost nothing but trying to help us. Even with all of his shadiness, I... I trust him. Okay. You know you don't have to come, right, Matt? I know you don't want to be doing this anymore. No, Daniel. I want to, okay? Especially now that we're together. I want to be by your side and help you. Until we finish it. Yeah, we finish and we get the answers, but then what? We'll figure that out together, buddy. All right. 
Last chance to back out, though. I'm with you to the very end. Thanks, pal. Hey, Matt. What's up? What's something you've always wanted to do? Go to space. Okay, realistically. It is realistic. I meant like today, like in Walker Creek. I mean, think about it. We don't know what the future holds, so we might as well go all out, right? Do something big. Go to Julie's? Oh, God, you're so lame now. What happened to you? Coping. Alright, so... I guess the main problem now is that we don't have a decoy. And once we don't show up to the tour guides meeting, we're basically screwed. I mean, as long as we show up at the right time, we'll be fine. And then after that, we'll go see Adam and plan our next move. You know, I think this is the first time I've heard you say Adam's name without any contempt. I mean, we've all messed up, and the tour guide's after you because of your dad, so... True. What? Wanna get Julie's? Again? Hey, are you ready? Yeah, I just gotta go get the camera first. Don't forget, we have a limited time window. All right, all right. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, I just knocked something over getting the camera. I'm ready to go. All right, buddy, let's do this. You wanna drive? No, I think you should. All right, take the camera with you then. All right. You all right, man? What time it is? Yeah, we finished the tour guide last week. This is crazy. This is what's been building up for about a year. You know, you can still back out if you're worried. You have to tell me that. We're not turning back now. Nope. Time to finish this. Louise Peterson. That's the tour guide to you. Enforcer, go adjust side camera. I want all of them to see this. Don't 
Don't bother trying to run. He'll catch you in a second. Where is Matt? With us. How, how did you even know our plan? Do you think I'm an idiot, Daniel Shepard? The speaker and I found your plan quite obvious. Where's the speaker now, huh? Coming to kill me too? Oh no, Daniel. Not yet. And the speaker will be coming right now. I guess that makes you the speaker, David Trenson. What's your play, Adam? Come to betray us one more time. Huh? You're looking at him in an advantageous position, Daniel. Not really. No. He's supposed to be the rebel leaders, huh? Did they, did they force him to manage me? Oh, yes, my child. I hosted a best of them. Don't call me child, okay? I'm not one of you. Maybe not, but you are a child, Daniel Shepard. You're in a world beyond your understanding. It was childish to think you could do anything, just like your father. Don't talk of my father, okay? I understand your world tour guide. For a year, all I've been doing is trying to understand your world. The only reason why I'm here is because I need to understand the final pieces. Understanding the final pieces of the hosted, that's what you came all the way here for? You can lie to yourself, my child, but not to us. I know what you see. Don't you want to know, Daniel? Don't you need to know? I have the things you desire. You just have to ask. No! I mean... I, yeah, this I, is why you are here. Daniel. You were right, Adam. Okay? Look, I do need to know. Please. Tell me about my father. Well, then, you already know. Perhaps you've heard of the benefactor? The benefactor? Why? He was one of us. Management. He helped us with everything. Gathering information. Growing our car. Catching the host. Anyone we want. You remind me of him very much. With your help, we are able to catch up. At this pace, you're going to become just like him. Yes, and now I am still relevant. No, no, no. What are you going to do? Kill him. No. What about me? Huh? What about Matt? You're going to where he is now. Exactly where he wants to be this whole time. Just not the way you planned. Speaker, the schedule for Bell. Good morning, Daniel. Enforcer, you're dismissed. This is a special treat I just have to document. Daniel Shepard, traitor to Walker Creek, in the chair for humans. Tour guide, how long has it been? You've kept me waiting. Oh, about a week now. What about Matt? What about Adam? Adam is dead. And Matt is being kept elsewhere in the home. For now. If you make this easy for me, maybe I'll let you stay together after I turn him into a host. You. I've been tied to this chair for a week. How would I make this difficult? I've learned to never underestimate a shepherd. Look, you've already won. I give up, remember? Now stop dragging this out! You sound like David. No fun. At least
least beg for your life or something. <laughs> I'm going to watch this back later for entertainment. No. So boring. Let's get you fired up a little then, shall we? Let's talk about your father. You want to know. It's burning you up inside. Sitting here, day after day, reliving that moment at the lake. You're chomping at the bit. Aren't you, Daniel? No. No, I don't want anything to do with you. Or him, for that matter. You're lying as always. That's a shepherd trait. Why would I lie? Because I have power over you. Power to tell you about your father. To ruin your entire life. To turn you into one of us. To do really any number of things. And you hate having no power anymore. Just like all of us. No, that's... that's not... That's what I thought. So, how about it, Daniel? Look, just shut up! I see through you. I know what you want. I heard you at the lake. You asked. You begged. You need to know. <laughs> I bet you're loving this tour guide. Oh, I relish in it. Another shepherd to destroy. I suppose it's time now. Your father was the one who kept Adam and Dr. Ellen under the radar, letting them start their own little rebellion, plotting for years and years since David's downfall, working both sides. But then, something interesting happened. During the 2020 festival, the rebels had a plan to attack us. George had a long shot plan to leak videos of our kind, to reveal the truth. The rebels told him not to, but he did it anyways, ruining their plan. George was branded as a traitor to them. Meanwhile, George was our benefactor. Despite being human, he was a pillar of host society, alongside myself and the speaker. He was a traitor to us. And for what? One day of chaos? No. No, why would he... No, no, he wouldn't do that. Oh, Daniel, you're so naive. Funnily enough, this wasn't the first time he leaked tapes. Let's see. I think it was March 1990 when George decided to make his big show. He took all his tapes and decided to show the whole world. He sent them to newspapers, TV stations, and citizens of Walker Creek. <laughs> well, obviously that didn't work out. So I gave him a choice. A very, very easy one. The same one you're getting. What? Join us or die. You know which option he took. Well, I'm not like him. I'm not gonna join you. He was wrong! There we go. Oh, the passion. You see that? Was it wrong, Daniel? You protected your mother. We protected you from birth until you moved. You're on the no host list. What? You... Then, then why are you doing this? It's fun. I haven't had this much fun since... ever. 1989 was when it last came close. Sounds lonely. I know what that's like. God, but don't you ever miss being human? Or are you really that brainwashed? Dr. Elman really sunk her claws into you. I missed it once, in the 60s. I had a bout of host surfacing. Then, never again. <laughs> I just enjoy my work too much. What work? Converting people? Killing them? Or is it worshipping a power you don't seem to understand? Everyone worships power they don't understand, Daniel Shepard. It just comes in different forms. My kind are far from the first on this planet to do morally reprehensible things for our beliefs. How can you justify this? You're psychotic. I'm dedicated. You are too. I know you are. You got all the way here, spent a year investigating. We could use you. Go to hell. We're both already in it, Daniel Shepard. Just different versions. Yours is Walker Creek. Mine is preparing for an endless war. War? The Ascension, Daniel. Try to keep up. 
poor guy. We must speak. I thought you weren't coming. Can't you see I'm in the middle of... Uh, never mind. What is it? It's a message from Aelman. All right. I'll be back in a moment. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Luke, come on, Luke. You're blind, not deaf. Please, I need you to help me get out of this. Remember who you are. That's not who I am. It is. I know it is. Come on, please. That's not who I am. Your name is Luke Delore. You beat them before. You worked for Adam. Remember? That part of you. It's got to be in there somewhere. I killed that part of me a long time ago. I was already dead when I killed Adam. Oh, you, of course, it had to be you. I wasn't me, though. I was Matt. It's not the end. What do you mean? There's a plan and a signal. It's, it's, it's fuzzy. It's happening soon. Oh, well, that's helpful. God, I sound like Matt. Matt. Is he here? Is he okay? Yeah, he's... Shit, this is no came already. What? Her leaving, that's the signal. We have to hurry. Holy shit. God, you really are insane. Blame Dr. Spencer, or blame her for 30 years of bullshit. Right. I'm sorry. Don't be. My time is here. What about these cameras? Aren't they all live? Not sure. Wave to the folks at home if you want. Even if they are, nobody has direct contact with the tour guide except management, and they're not watching. Even if they are, it takes three minutes to get to this part of the home. Tour guide will be back in two. Now you sound like Adam. He taught me. You'll need to hide. As soon as the next signal happens, you run. What about you? Don't worry about me. Just, if I don't make it back, tell my mom what happened. I know she's still looking for answers. Of course. <sighs> Thank you, Luke. I hear her. You have 30 seconds. Get out of here. Got it. Where did the enforcer go? He told me he was investigating the Dr. Illman thing. He also told me I wasn't going anywhere. True. There was nothing of substance in Dr. Illman's message. Just empty threats with her tattered army. Fair enough. Where were we? Of course now you want to talk. Just as we have to wrap it up. Sad. Aw. Already? But talking to you is so much fun. Don't mock me, Shepard. I could kill you right now without even letting you make your own decision. It's a kindness, I don't have to grant you! I... don't care. Hey, tour guide. I have waited far too long for this that moment. bitch! Hello, Dr. Illman. Here to threaten me further? Demand surrender? Your tactics have all failed. I'm here to end this. End what? This little, pathetic dispute with Daniel Shepard? Shepard was bait. To end the ascension. To end management, the home, the harvest star. These toxic beliefs. This coming war. And to end you, Luis. Don't you dare call me that! I really do feel bad for you. Most of us keep parts of our humanity, no matter how small. I don't see any of that in you. You are weak. The entire concept of humanity is weak. They are ignorant to what lies beyond in the cosmos. The horror of the universe. Including us. Including us. That's exactly what I have to end, Luis. Stop calling me that name! And you, stop laughing! Some of the hosts did understand. More will over time. We can prevent the needless harvest prevent those horrors. You're a traumatized, insane, fool with no power, Dr. Illman. You're pathetic. I'm not pathetic. I'm stronger than you, and I can see further than you. 
I escaped. You lost yourself when you were a scared little girl in 1955. I am so much more. I do wish you were more forward thinking. Some of us can learn to work together. Maybe I'll have better luck with the speaker. Oh, and I'll see you soon, Daniel. Now! You too, Luke? How do they do this? Ah, patience, cooperation, willpower, rage. The thirst for revenge. That's what this is about for you? Revenge? Adam wanted the same thing. We both know how that ended. Well, it's understandable. You ruined a lot of lives. Including mine. It's over, tour guide. They're destroying the home. The rebellion is growing. This isn't like David's. It's insignificant. The star will not fail me. You're ungrateful. Ungrateful? You ruined my life. You took me against my will. You took advantage of me. Abused me. Uh, then I watched as you did the same thing to David and George and Adam. You don't know how long I've waited to say that. But there's no fixing what you've done to all of us. Even to the shepherd kid. I don't regret what I've done. I know you're getting up, but with that injury you shouldn't be able to win this. That's the problem with creating a perfect killing machine. Oh, but Luke, you were never the perfect killing machine. You never were. You just were easy to manipulate. You healed? I didn't get to where I am due to my lovable personality, Luke. You underestimated me. Ah! Uh, uh, it's fine. I don't have much to go back to. I was only the bait in the first place. Pathetic. Come on, where the hell am I? Okay, the mine. Matt. Daniel. Stop. All right. How do I know that's really you? Uh. Oh, my neck, see, look. Look, no warm scar. No, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust Daniel. you. I... Daniel. You have to trust me, okay? It's literally a war zone. Whenever I let you down. I guess you're right. God, I, I missed you, buddy. Look, everything's gonna be fine now, all right? Not, not everything, we, we gotta go. No, no, come on, we need the camera. We need the camera, come on. Wait. Shepard, I'm not done with you. No! Put it down. Now! Stay calm, all right? What the hell do you want, tour guide? I want you dead, Daniel Shepard. Your entire family is nothing but a danger to this engine. Just like that pathetic traitor, Luke who I killed. I will fulfill my purpose. Dr. Elman will not make us fall. You've got one thing right, tour guide. The Shepherds are a danger to the Ascension. And I wouldn't have it any other way. What the hell are you talking about? You don't understand the true purpose of the Hosted. I do. Oh shit. Holy shit. Adam. Glad to see you. Likewise. So, I lost tour guide, is that it? Doesn't really look like losing from where I'm standing. Adam, my faithful servant. You can kill me, but nothing can stop the ascension. You can't kill a god. Dr. Illman has some ideas, but you don't have to worry about that now. I'm not your servant anymore. All I wanted was a peaceful life, and now, 
I finally get what I want. You're gonna kill her or not? Oh yes, Matt. Tour guide, I release you. Go have your soul return to the Harvest Star, whatever the hell it is that you need. Is it... Is it over? Is it ever really over? We've known each other for this long, and you're still speaking in riddles? Some part of it is over, Daniel, but some part of it is just beginning. Leave the equipment here. We've done our part. Dr. Ilman will handle the rest. I'm glad you actually picked up on the plan. You did? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what was happening the entire time. Yeah, I picked up on that. It was good thinking, using us and Dad. Only to lure out the tour guide. I don't need someone to tell me I'm clever. Okay, Adam, so what's next for you? Cabin in the woods? Well, there's some cleanup to do first, but yes, yeah, something like that. You come try to make some desserts? Try to make some That's quite a tall order. My name is Daniel Shepard. My father was killed here in Walker Creek by the host. I've spent a year hunting down the answers. I helped strike major blows against them, and I learned the truth about my dad. I got closure, and now I'm going to follow in his footsteps. I've spent my whole life trying to run away from Walker Creek and from him. Now, I'm running towards it. The first part of the week after the attack on the home was insane. Adam and Matt and myself dealt with some of the aftermath, and I formally met Dr. Ilman. The second part of the week was saying goodbye. Adam did exactly what he said he was going to do. He went into retirement. Drove into some cabin in the woods, I think. After he left, I went home and packed my things. So, I'm finally settled in now. Some of us have come together and we're actually building something here. It'll take a long time and a lot of effort, but for the first time in a long time, the rebellion is really growing. And I know for a while there was a cycle of hope and then destruction and then hope again, but for the first time, I'm actually hopeful. I mean, we have hosted soldiers on our side right now. And as for the home, well, their leadership is shattered. This is... Probably the last you guys will hear from me. The investigation is over. I found the truth. And now... Now it's time I think I forged my own path. We all need to do that. Even... Even the most unlikely of us. That's the truth. Kind regards, Daniel Shepard. I've been waiting for you, Daniel. For what? Us to take you away from here? I was wrong. The star isn't there for me. It allowed this to happen. It turned its back on the host. It... It no longer speaks to me. My connection to it, to the Elder Ones, to everything, it severed away. The war is all for nothing. What, am I supposed to pity you? No, I suppose not. I know when I'm beaten. Please, Daniel, sit with me. You didn't expect it to end like this, did you? No, but I can't say I'm surprised. I know not to underestimate a shepherd. That's right. You started in management at the same time that my dad did, right? I did. We were... Friends. Will you tell me about him? I mean, the real him? Past all the
well where to even begin. He was a very interesting person. Hello, Walker Creek. Welcome to Cooking with Adam. 